Hi folks, Lee here and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another episode of Combos, the series where I take two weapons and rate them individually and as a combo with each other. Um, for this one I've got something a little bit ridiculous. Um, I've put on the Lawbreaker wildcard to let me take two primaries and I'm taking out the DMR-14 and the Type 63 Scrambler. Um, I've dubbed this the Scumbag Loadout because the DMR meta is like off the charts at the moment. Um, the DMR 14's already been nerfed twice, but it looks like it's probably going to get another nerf because people are still complaining about it. Um, but I just decided to take these out today, and obviously, I've been playing a little bit of Fire Team as well, so I thought it'd be quite fun. So before we begin the gameplay, just a quick look at the creator class menu as I always do in these videos. So the DMR I've got the three times scope, although there is a bit of footage with a two times scope as well. Got a forward grip, got a steady aim laser. Basically the same kind of build, the same kind of thing that I go for with all of the guns that I use is basically towards speed and accuracy. Um, and also decent like hip fire performance with a steady aim laser as well. So, pretty much that, I've got a 30 round mag as well, um, and as I said, just building it towards speed, accuracy. Same with the Scrambler, I've pretty much used the Scrambler as you got it in the blueprint, so it's pretty much just that gun. Uh, it's also got a scope on it, also got a front grip. Um, I don't have a steady aim laser in this one, I do think if I was going back I would probably throw one of those on there but we'll see what happens so what I'll, see, I'll start with the DMR-14 there is going to be footage of both like kind of mixed in in these videos but I don't really mind so I'll start off with the DMR-14 very good gun um, now what I will say is in normal multiplayer matches it's actually like a pretty like I don't want to say balanced gun but it does its job and no more if you know what I mean, like, I didn't feel overpowered running around with the DMR-14 in normal multiplayer. It is a good gun, it is the kind of gun that I enjoy, like, in Black Ops 4 my favourite gun was the Augur DMR. Um, you know, I love those kind of like hard hitting single shot rifles, um, but I didn't feel like overpowered using this thing in normal multiplayer. It's a good gun, it does what it does well, medium to long range, it wrecks, close range, it's good with a steady aim laser but obviously it's a battle rifle, like it's a semi-auto rifle, it's not quite as good at close range. But in terms of what I would expect from this gun, it does its job well, so I'm not going to mark it down for being bad at close range, um, it's obviously just, you know, it's not built for that sort of situation, um, but as far as the gun goes, I wouldn't say it's an absolutely excellent gun in normal multiplayer, but it's a, it's a good gun in normal multiplayer, it's reliable, you know, it does its job well, you know, so that's all I can really ask for, you know, like that's kind of... Basically, with this series, obviously, like, I'm not breaking down the stats, you know. Um, it's not that kind of in-depth sort of video. I'm not, you know, doing that kind of video. But it's basically just more like my feeling with the gun, you know. Like, kind of, you know, my opinion on the gun through, like, playing the game, you know. Um, and as far as I'm concerned, you know, this is a great gun. Uh, it works well. I didn't feel overpowered running around with, with it, you know. Um, but it is a good gun, uh, and not what we put. Um, so now we are on to the Type 63. Um, so this gun here, um, it's uh, again obviously similar to the DMR-14, you unlock it a bit earlier. Uh, well you actually unlock it pretty much right away uh, in multiplayer. Uh, but it is a good gun, it does the same job, you know. Um, what I will say is, I should have probably thrown a steady aim laser in this one, but it is a little bit worse, I would say, at close range. Uh, and it doesn't have the same kind of, like, it's not as hard hitting as the DMR-14, which is 
kind of to be expected. But what I would say is it makes up for that by having a little bit less recoil. So I do feel with this one it is a little bit of a laser even at long range. You know, like you can, like if you've got a good aim in the game, like you're going to be hitting targets really far away with this thing and, you know, doing a lot of damage. It is, it is still pretty hard hitting. It's hard hitting enough. Just not quite as hard hitting as the DMR-14. So there's kind of a trade-off there. If you need really hard hitting, you would go for the DMR-14, but this is great for accuracy. And so is the DMR-14, but I did get the feeling I had a little bit of an advantage accuracy-wise with this gun. So with all that being said, um, what kind of rating am I looking to give these guns? So, for normal multiplayer, I'm giving all of them an 8 out of 10, so that means I'm giving the DMR an, an 8 out of 10, I'm giving the Type 63 an 8 out of 10, and I'm giving them an 8 out of 10 as a combo. Um, and the reason for that is, they're both effectively, you know, very similar guns, you know, they both do their job well, I feel that they work well as part of a weapon set, uh, they're great for medium to long range, they're still acceptable at close range as long as you've got a steady aim laser, um, and although in the kind of fine details of things, like, they're both a little bit different, you know, the DMR, it's a little bit recoily but it's also very hard hit. And the Type 63 is basically a laser, um, but it's also a little bit less hard to hit. Um, but it kind of makes up for that by the fact that it's a little bit more rapid fire as well. Um, so, I had a lot of fun using these guns in normal multiplayer. I imagine if you're the type of person that likes sort of single shot rifles, you'll enjoy them as well. Um, and I feel like, as a weapon set overall, they're an 8 out of 10. Um, and the only maps where I wouldn't recommend them would be like really close range maps, although even then you could probably throw a close range sight on there and you would be fine. Um, the distinction is that I'm going to make it a little bit more complicated and say that for the fire team mode, which is what I built this weapon set for, I would bump all of those up to a 9 out of 10, and I would bump the DMR up to a 10 out of 10. Um, and that's basically just because obviously the DMR meta is going on at the moment. That was the main reason for making this video, if I like to be honest. I just wanted to test out the DMR and see if the rumours were true, you know. <laughs> um, I had a lot of fun running around with the DMR in this map and also the Type 63 because they're both very similar guns, you know, and... I did feel that they were a little bit overpowered as a weapon set running around with them in fire team, so that's why I'm giving them like a slightly higher rating for fire team than I would for normal multiplayer. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun with them. Um, they work very similar in both normal multiplayer and fire team. I think just with fire team, like, because it's a little bit longer time to kill, you get a little bit more chance to like, line up shots and stuff like that, I don't know, like, for some reason I just feel a little bit more effective in fire team than they are in normal multiplayer, um, which is a little bit weird, but, um, you know, it's just one of those things, as I says, that's what this, feel, that's what this series is about, it's about, kind of, my opinion based on, kind of, my gameplay, if you know what I mean. Uh, I've got a little bit of a moment coming up here. <laughs> you know what's going to happen here. <laughs> um, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you hated it, leave a dislike. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you'd like to see more of this content in the future, then please do subscribe. Bye, folks.